Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I'd like to show you how to reamp using the Apogee Ensemble Thunderbolt interface, which includes two guitar inputs and two guitar outputs. And one of the reasons they've done that is it allows you to reamp via the interface in some quite cool ways. Now, I've got a guitar down already. It's a very basic guitar part, and if I play it to you here, it's just DI'd straight in. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it out of the Thunderbolt into the guitar amp and back out of the guitar amp. The guitar amp I'm going to use in question is actually an 11 rack, so there's no mic to set up. But this would be the same as if you if you were miking up a guitar or anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it straight out. You could send it to effects, pedals or anything. So what you do is there's two options. You could either send it out of the output of Pro Tools. This is Pro Tools I'm using and choose Guitar 1. Or you can do what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a send. I'm going to open that send up. I'm going to set the send in pre-send mode and then I'm going to put it to 0 dB and if I press the Alt key and click that, that now sends out. As you can see that's now going out of Pro Tools. Then what I want to do is go to my Apogee Ensemble. Make sure I've got some nice level, and as you see, because I'm using the the audio interface as well, it uh, it will let me know that's happening. Now, what I then want to do is want to bring it back in. So I take the the output of the output of Guitar One out into my eleven rack, and then out of my eleven rack back into Guitar One. So it's a loop basically. If I now engage the input, I should be able to hear that. The other reason I choose pre here as well is I can now mute this guitar, and I can still hear it going out. Let's play that. Can hear that. So if we now go back to our mixer application for a second, you want to make sure you have Unity Gain on because the sound's very different. I've turned it off for a second. You hear that's changing. I want it to work as it should, as if I was plugging the guitar straight into that uh, 11 rack. And so if I hit Unity Gain, I've got the sound I want. There's two options. I've got that coming back through the guitar. Now, if I wanted to, I've also got the spidiff coming out the back of the 11 rack, and I could have it coming back in uh, stereo instead. But I'm not using the loop function then. I'm just using it as a, a basically a send and return. So let me record that now. Let's choose that channel. Let's have a listen to that now. Let's take that out and let's solo that. Let's hear that now in the original. There's the original. So I've reamped it. Now what you might need to do as well, depending on uh, what your latency settings are like in your door, is if you come in close to this, you'll see whether these are actually lined up as waveforms, you can see that actually they're not. There's a there's a little gap there. There's two things. You've got to have the tab to transient or I'm just gonna press the command key, grab that, pull it back, and that's so there we are, that's reamping in Pro Tools using the Apogee Thunderbolt Ensemble. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.